So last year I said that the Vip Pillen 701 was my favourite bike of 2019 and funnily enough and exactly a year later we got another one on loan. So the question that I've got is a year later do I still feel the same way about this bike? There is something pretty special about the Vip Pillen. It's futuristic cafe racer lines, a gorgeous paint scheme, spoked wheels, the new 2020 model just looks awesome. But you'd be wrong to write it off as a bike that is all show and no go. The Vip Pillen 701 absolutely rocks. The combination of the 75 horsepower single cylinder lump with 158 kilos dry weight make for a really fast and usable road going motorcycle. What I mean by that is that the majority of the action is sub 100 miles an hour. The feeling, the power, the torque, all the oomph can be experienced at realistic legal speeds with mid-range punch being its forte and it makes for super easy overtaking. Hanging on to gears up to the red line and banging up the quick shifter is a real joy. As a pure entertainment package and if you like doing wheelies, the odd burnout or stoppy, there aren't many bikes out there that deliver like this does. We clocked the Vip Pillen at 0-60 in 3.6 seconds and 0-100 miles an hour in 8.4 seconds. Just for fun we also pitched it against my own GSX-R 750 and up to around the legal 70 miles an hour speed limit. Amazingly, the Vip Pillen had been in the lead and was way ahead up to around 50 miles an hour. The Vip Pillen is much easier to launch consistently fast off the line in comparison to the GSX-R's inline four motor where all the power is up the higher RPMs. In the rare occasion that we had the traction control turned on, the anti-wheelie on the Vip Pillen proved fantastic, enabling us to put all of that power down onto the tarmac. Of course, it goes without saying that the GSX-R killed it in the higher speeds. It is true that a perfect launch on a Peaky 750 is a bit of an art form, but we weren't holding back. During the run we're looking at right now, we hit a 0 to 100 miles an hour time in 5.7, and 0 to 140 in 10 seconds flat. But unlike my GSX-R which will do 120 miles an hour in second gear, the Vip Pillen delivers similar fun, you'll just retain your license at the end of it. And it is the perfect tool at shoving you corner to corner on twisty and scenic roads. The electronics package is pretty straightforward. It's got good traction control, anti-wheelie, and ABS is automatically applied when you turn the bike on, and this keeps the punch and wheeling nature of the bike nicely in control. And then you can simply turn it off by pressing and holding a few buttons. The dash is pretty simple too, but it tells you what you need to know and matches the styling of the bike. The handling of the Vip Pillen is fantastic. I actually raced one at Lydon Hill last year and for short tracks, it's hard to think of a bike that would be more satisfying to ride. Yes, on longer tracks, you are gonna get monstered on the straights, but the Vip Pillen still delivers a massive grin. The way that Husqvarna have set this bike up for the road is just fantastic. In our 701 Enduro, the gearing is much shorter and the bike overall is much more vibey. The Vip Pillen, on the other hand, is as smooth as a big single can be. The gearing is a lot longer and 70 miles an hour in sixth gear is genuinely all day comfortable. Now, unlike a lot of middleweights out there, the Vip Pillen is made from really high quality components. Case in point, the WP Apex suspension provides a really well damped and comfortable ride on the road, yet it's sporty enough as well to provide great handling. It's also adjustable too in the compression and rebound, so you can really tweak that to get it right for you without getting too overwhelmed. 
At first glance, the brake setup looks a bit lacking with a one disc affair up the front, but it doesn't take you long to work out that actually the setup is pretty fantastic. You've got braided lines, you've got Brembo master cylinder and caliper, and that combines with the lightweight to make a really fantastic setup. Complementing the handling package are a set of Bridgestone S21 tyres, a really nice and sporty tyre with very good performance in the cold and wet and really match the performance here. The riding position is also fantastic. The Vitpilen feels like it's relatively short and compact like most KTM naked bikes do, but it's engaging and you feel connected to the road. The rear seat is quite high, which may put shorter riders off a little, but once on the go, it creates a really nicely poised position. No, the Vitpilen isn't perfect. Goes without saying, the bike isn't the roomiest. There's very little in terms of weather protection. You can't take a pillion with this bike. And also the seat is absolutely rock hard. And unfortunately, the rear fender ends up looking like your granddad's Y fronts, with skid marks included. The Vibe single cylinder characteristics aren't entirely hidden. Case in point, the view in the rear view mirror is a total mushy out of focus mess. And that is unless you physically grab and hold that mirror in place. And nor do I imagine this bike to be on the wish list of older generations who may want a more relaxed ride offered by a bike like a GS, for example. But those things aside for a second, as a road going rider's bike, all of these ingredients combine to make what is, in my opinion, one of the finest road going and legally fun bikes on the market. You see, in order to get the most out of the roads that we have, you really don't need 200 horsepower or tire shredding torque. You don't need a bike that's going to do 120 in second gear. In fact, I'd go as far to say that on the Vitpilen, I would keep up with any sports bike or super naked on the road, assuming that both riders were being at least vaguely aware of speed limits. At the end of the day, on the road, you don't need the latest electronics or technology. You probably don't need the best Brembo brakes either, the stickiest tires or the raciest suspension. And ultimately, that is why the Vitpilen is so good. It has all of the right ingredients in exactly the right quantities for a fantastic ride on the road. It wastes nothing in its delivery and it's served in a package that just looks fantastic. And that, for me at least, is why the Vitpilen is absolutely awesome.